Did you talk with Amanda? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? What are you doing in my backyard? Mrs. Satchmore. Who wants to know? I'm an old friend of Arthur's. Oh, a friend are you? Too bad. He died without a cent. And I've got the depths hanging over me head to prove it. I don't think you understand. No, you're the one who doesn't understand. Arthur had no friends. Only greedy vultures who used him for his money. So if you're one of those, you're too late. He's gone. Never again will anyone be able to take advantage from his generosity. Actually, I'm here because I owed him money. But tell me, when did my old friend die? Oh, not too long ago. So... Just how much are we talking about? So rare these days to see an honest man who actually pays his debts. You flatter me, miss. But there's a problem. Without Arthur here, I'm afraid I can't give you the money I owe him. What do you mean you can't? Everything he owned now is mine, and here I am! Well, the thing is, I don't have the money on me. That's the point. I was going to need a favor from Arthur in order to retrieve it. But if he's not here to help me... No. I'm afraid there's nothing else I can do. Unless... Unless what? There has to be a way. Well, uh, I suppose. But no. You wouldn't have it. He wouldn't have kept it. Not after all that time. No. Forget I said anything. But I told you! Everything he owns is now mine. What are you looking for? Oh, it was a flag he used on his ship. A special one that would grant access to a certain port, which is where the man with the money is now. Ah, uh, I see. He doesn't want you to find him. But we may be in luck. I was planning to throw out his old rags anyway, but I have another time. I can't even use them as tablecloths. They smell horrid. I'll be happy to wait. God, they stink. Worse than I remembered. Anyway, this looks a bit like a flag. Take it. I'm not going to be using it, that's for sure. I'll be happy to. It'll remind me of Arthur. Rest assured, I'll soon be back with your money. You're a true gentleman, sir. Such a rare sight these days.
Well, I'm sure you'll return with my money. You're trying to take something that belongs to me. Too late, friend. I've already got it. Liar. She would never lower herself. She's a decent woman, and there's no way a filthy pirate like you would ever have a chance with her. She? Oh, you mean... Well, there's enough Amanda for all of us, don't you think? I'm going to kill you, you bastard! Why did they attack? Ha! Since when has anyone needed a reason to attack the Maroons? Who were those bastards? You saw them? Bloody English soldiers? Damn them all to hell! I see. Hazard of doing business, I suppose. Thanks for your help.
Hey there. You look like a man of the sea. I've got something that may interest you. I doubt that. Doubt not. I have a ship for sale. A small galleon. Okay. Why are you selling it? Well, I'm embarrassed to say it, but I'm in debt in a bad way. I can't seem to keep an honest crew together, and I've got to pay or I'm in trouble. All right. What's the price? Well, the ship is worth 10000 <laughs> I don't have time for this. Wait! Wait, fine. I'll sell for 8000 not one coin less. If the ship's in good condition, it's a deal. Well, come in, come in. Don't stand at the damn door all day. Are you Lancaster? 
Who else would be standing behind the counter of my own shop? You see another man behind the counter here? I'm being robbed. Come in, why don't you? I'm already inside. Well, anyone can see that. I'm standing here talking to you, ain't I? I... what? Say, you don't have the least bit of Spanish in you, do you? <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. Listen, can I come in and talk business, or do I have to shout from here while your guards crowd me the whole time? Well, I'll admit, I'm a bit confused. You said yourself you are already inside. You're an odd one, but sure. Stand down a bit, boys. No need to lean on the man. He's only armed to the teeth, after all. There you go. Now that you have all the room in the whole West Indies, why don't you state your business so I can get back to mine? I'm here because I found a piece of paper with your name on it. Well now, I suppose that practically makes us kin, don't it? No, no, don't bother telling me your name. Just tell me about those papers right away. My name is Christopher Raven. This paper was dropped in a brawl with a group of Spanish soldiers led by a man named Torado. I came here to ask you if... Now this I'd like to hear more about. Tell me, did you manage to kill any of those Spanish pigs with that steel hand of yours? Bloody fearsome is what that thing is. Tell me. The fight went my way or I wouldn't be standing here. Now, do you know this man Torado or not? You're right hard case, aren't you? No reason to get agitated, my friend. Especially with my boys standing right there. My name may be on your paper, but I don't know anyone named Torado. You're sure? He's in the Royal Spanish Navy, but he's as crooked a bastard as they come. You've got no idea why he might be looking for you. Anyone who needs someone properly shot, stabbed, bludgeoned, or blown to bits is eventually going to track down all Lancaster. Sounds like I'm going to be having me some business today after all. Listen, I have my own business with Toronto, and if he's on his way here... I've got a proposition for you. I'm gonna stop you right there, friend. I see what's in your eyes, and I'm afraid I can't help you with it. What I can do is offer you some work. I'm not looking for work. I'm looking for Torado. Listen, I've got plenty of coin, and I'm not asking you to do much at all. I know what you're asking, and I won't do it. You can pay me, sure. The difference is, your Spanish friend may come back to buy weapons a hundred times. You'll pay me once, then kill the bastard. Easy choice, friend. Now about the job I have. It's not healthy to trifle with me, old man. <laughs> Who's trifling? I'm offering you a bit of honest work. Do it, and I'll cut you a deal on your next purchase. And you'll be back, I guarantee it. My weapons are the best. On your way back to my shop next time, maybe you'll run across this man you're after. And you two can sort out your problems then and there. But I won't have bloodshed on the floor of my shop. It's bad for business. All right. What do you need? Excellent. The wood I use is usually transported on a small ship called the Queen Anne. And I have a man, Paulson, who retrieves it for me. But it seems that some marauding buccaneers have been plotting to take the ship for a while. And just yesterday, Paulson runs to me in tears, telling me they finally managed to board it when it was docked, and now they're at sea! Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Buccaneers stealing. Ah, I knew you'd understand. Of course, my man Paulson is too scared to do anything about it himself whining about how he's just there to retrieve the wood, how he lost half of his men in the attack, how one of them was his brother. Whatever happened to doing a job until the job's done? Sounds like he really let you down. Where do I come in? My proposition is this. You intercept the ship while it's still close to the shore, board the ship and recover my wood. You will get paid, and perhaps by then this tornado character will have come by. Torado. Perhaps he'll be here, too. Who's to say? So do we have a deal? We have a deal. 
Fantastic! Make sure to watch out for the muskets! I hear they're real dead eyes with those blasted things. See you. Guess you need your boat repaired.
bastard in the louts. Aye, aye, Captain. Lower your aim. Fire, you shits! Yes, sir! Fire away, you lazy pricks! Right away! Aim lower! Lower, I said! Yes, yes sir. sir! Fire the right front side! Move it! Right away! Make a burn! As you Don't wish. Don't give up on me now, man. Spill the wind, you lazy bastards. Yes, sir. Place the sails. As you wish. Fire the fort. Make the devil himself cower, men. Easy now. Easy. Right, Lord sir. have mercy. Get a hold of yourselves! I'm going to cut you myself! Full sail now! Brace yourself! Enemy fire! Stop shitting your britches, you spineless cowards! Continue yet! Aye, 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 aye Captain! Captain.
Back already? Don't you still have a ship to find? Just board it and recover the documents. Then you can go to our friend in St. Lucia, get paid, and help Donovan stay healthy. Back already? Don't you still have a ship to find? Just board it and recover the documents. Then you can go to our friend in St. Lucia, get paid, and help Donovan stay healthy. Anything you need, with pleasure. Anything you need! Shall we trade? Oh, that's Sorton Burger. Oi! You look like you've got sea legs. An officer by any chance? Captain. Sorry, sir. Just you walk like a true man of the sea. Anyway, I'm looking for a worthy boy to sell my old sword to. She's a real beaut, a true officer's blade. <laughs> Can be yours for a mere pittance. You used to be an officer. <laughs> Don't look the part, do I? Well, that's what loving a filthy cheating all do to you. The minute I sell my old blade and pay my debt to Lou, I'm off to Gutley, woman. You're looking for payback, then? Yes, all debts must be repaid, which is why I'm trying to sell that sword. I owe Lou money, and what little office's honor I have left keeps me here, working off my debt. But enough of my... But enough of my sob story. As I said, it's a well-balanced cutlass and not a notch on the edge. A bargain, too. Just a few reales. What do you say? I've got plenty of swords, but I could always use a good officer. What, really? You're offering me a job? Name's Mac, and I'm ready to serve with you the moment you need me, sir. Just, as I said, I've got this slight problem of owing money to Lou. Can't go anywhere until I pay off what I owe that fat bugger, sir.
Can I help you with something? I'm taking Mac with me. I know who the hell you are, but Mac's not going anywhere. Besides, he don't want to. He enjoys my company too much. Let him go or else, Kerr. <laughs> or else what? I'm not put you up to this. I say, he's done for. Guards! Guards! This man is assaulting me! Let Mac off the hook, or you hang from mine. Your choice. Who are you, Fick? You ain't getting it. Max in too deep. You just called a man with a hook for a hand stupid. I gotta tell you, there are much easier ways of committing suicide. No, sir. Please, sir. I got a wife and kids. See? You have something to live for after all. And you're so happy with your life that you're just going to let Mac go. Right? All done. Find the Serpent at the docks and report to Donovan. You start right away. Oh, oh, why, thank you. Oh, thank you. You won't be disappointed. Yes. Save your enthusiasm for when we're at sea, Mac. We'll do, Captain.
mutual friend from Bridgetown says hello. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Can I, um... If you've got the coin, you can do whatever you want. Fine, fine, here. Take it. You're a little short. Our friend promised me twice as much. You trying to cheat me? Because that is a very, very stupid thing to do. No, no. But that's a lot of coin. Unless you want to end up like those Spaniards, you'll give me what you owe. All right, fine. Keep your blade in its sheath. Here. Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, oh, right. You tell Donovan we're even. Keep it quiet, won't you? Excuse me, please. That sounds about right. What do you need, Chris? A drink? I'll be on my way. Sure. See you, Chris. Clearly, sir, you're a discerning customer. <laughs> Hardly. I'm doing business with you, aren't I? Magnificent, sir.
Oh, Raven! I got word from our friend in Saint Lucia. Well done! Donovan's a lucky man to have you as his captain. What are you waiting for, Medal? That ship isn't going to get itself back. Tell me about this errand of yours again. What are you, slow? Intercept the ship. I've even marked its route for you on your map. Best weapons in the Caribbean. 